vais être court après l'intervention de Frédéric. I'll be brief after that uh, very uh, moving and forceful uh, statement uh, uh, Letizia has just uh, made, and I hope that I will be able to add to what she said. Uh, Letizia uh, has just explained uh, that we really need to tackle uh, the, the negative economy which uh, surrounds us. We are perhaps the short-term beneficiaries of that negative economy, but that negative economy could end up, end up bearing us all. In order to uh, create the conditions necessary for us to become aware of what a positive economy really is, not only do we have to uh, speak, as we are doing here, but we need to measure. We need to quantify things. Nothing uh, can be successful if it's not measured, if we don't measure, if we don't um, face reality on the basis of figures, we'll just end up with perhaps very moving, um, enthusing uh, speeches, but they won't help us really get any further than that. And in the world of the Positive Economy uh, Forum, we've decided to create uh, indices uh, which will help us Les entreprises et la positivité. which will help us um, uh, really uh, assess the positive aspects of our countries and our cities. Now, for those who are familiar uh, with our system, we've uh, uh, assessed, we've measured all the countries of the OECD, and we publish on a yearly basis the uh, classification uh, of uh, these countries, their ability to take future uh, generations into account. And we've published very, very exhaustive indices. And needless to say, the Northern European countries, this will be no surprise, are top of the list, very developed countries, but in countries which aren't particularly well, uh, doing well in terms of uh, social integration, the US, the UK, and France in the middle. And then you have countries which are lagging behind because of a lack of infrastructure, because of uh, demographic problems. These are uh, tailing uh, behind. So it's rather interesting to see how things are uh, developing. And there's one point which I would like to uh, make here, which is that if you add up all the positive indices of the OECD uh, countries, since it's an absolute and not a relative index, you get the, uh, the positive index of the OECD, how the OECD takes the future into account. And what is rather worrying is that this positivity index of the OECD, now I'm not talking about the actual organization which is doing a, a marvelous job. But if you look at all the countries in the OECD, uh, it is possible to see that the figure is D on the decrease. So in other words, countries are slowly but surely reducing their positivity, which uh, would indicate that we are increasingly interested in the short-term results. What is important, and we saw this last year when we uh, we, we uh, reveal the fact that Italy is lagging behind. It's, it's really very low down on the, uh, in the classification. And this led to us to uh, put forward 12 proposals to Italian society. And these proposals have been taken into account. We've been working uh, now in France. And uh, we have about 10 uh, French cities working with us um, and they're trying to assess and measure their uh, uh, positive indices. And now I'm very pleased to be able to call on Italian cities to ask them to participate in this exercise as well. Would they dare be measured just like Marseille, Bordeaux, Le Havre, and many other uh, small and medium-sized uh, cities in uh, France. They've accepted to have a common index. It's confidential for the time being. We're just finalizing the figures. And I'm very pleased to hear that the mayor of Rimini has just said that he would be interested in Rimini taking part in this exercise. And um, in this way, it will be able to measure its 
is positive features to enable it to become even more positive. And uh, I think that this against the backdrop of a, uh, an exercise on positive tourism, I think that this is really very, very consistent with our position. Now, many companies have accepted to take part in this exercise, particularly those interested in sustainable development. They're prepared to be measured. Now, we're, we have a forum in Le Havre in September, and we're going to publicize a number of um, positive or positivity indices for a, a certain number of companies. Um, and hopefully Italian companies will, will join us, uh, Letizia. Now, we could dream of a world in which uh, these companies would uh, publicize their positivity index. Because apart from an aggressive type of uh, short-term uh, result-oriented uh, business which dominates the market, then you have the patient uh, type of companies, a positive type of companies, companies who take the general interest into account. Uh, there are some sovereign funds who explicitly say, we're not going to invest in sustainable initiatives or initiatives which don't take future uh, generations into account. And then there are private firms now, this was said publicly, uh, BlackRock, this is one of the largest funds in the world. Uh, they have said quite openly that they are not going to invest in companies which uh, aren't thinking of future generations. Now, we're going to attribute an indicator to these patient uh, economic operators and, and, and business people. And we're going to do the same for cities and uh, countries. And then for savers, we will be providing other indices. Uh, we'll be able to say to savers, look, if you want to invest in such and such a company, it's not positive at all, but if you invest in this other one, it is. And if we manage to entice savers to invest more in uh, positive uh, businesses as opposed to the less positive ones, surely this will be a great incentive to entrepreneurs to be more uh, more positive, and likewise, uh, cities and towns and the leaders thereof might take uh, the people's opinion into account if they are made more aware of their positive features. So we're here to dream. Uh, we need to dream in order to make progress. We want to ensure that uh, reality one day will, will reflect what our dreams are all about. Thank you.